than we had planned to release this week. I was out filming some other footage for the video we were originally planning to release when this happened. So you know how when something like that's happening and your brain's going, no. but then your cat-like reflexes don't kick in? So now we're shooting this episode on our iPhones. Jane and I have this thing we do when we're out playing. When she's way on the other side of the pasture and I ask her to come to me, y'all, she runs to me, straight to me. I was standing behind the camera and got all caught up in how beautiful our baby girl looked and didn't think to step to one side or the other of the camera like I usually do. Thank you, baby boy. So like she does, she came full on running straight to me and then turned right at the last minute. And I don't know what part of her, maybe her nose, tail, foot, but some part of her bumped the tripod just enough to tip it over. Our camera, it's a Sony ZV-1 and it's what we've shot everything on this past year so far, including our Get Back Up music video. I'll get back. For us, it was a big investment. It's pretty much built like a tank, except for the lens. And of course, it landed right on the lens. We even have the camera in a protective cage and it hit so hard when it landed, it came out of the cage. When I picked it up and I could see that it was broken, I immediately went into shame, panic, fear, of whether it could be fixed and how much it was gonna cost. All the things that at one point would have sent me into a spiral. I realize in the grand scheme of it all, it's not an end of the world kind of thing, but for me in that moment, it was a really big deal. After I checked on Jane and made sure she was all good, I went inside to show my husband, Sam. Sam's pretty zen about these kind of things. He was, of course, bummed out that it happened, but he's a, it is what it is, we'll deal with it kind of guy, and I'm pretty sure he's part horse. <laughs> yeah, this is bad. Once we got past the initial shock that the camera was broken, we couldn't fix it ourselves, we started researching online, found a camera repair shop, that gave us an estimate and turns out it's gonna cost less than we thought it might be. The camera's on the way to the repair shop and we'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> this week has been a lesson in acceptance for me. I'm not always good at handling unexpected setbacks like a broken camera. I have a tendency to let setbacks set me way back. I get bogged down in shame, blame, being a victim, feeling helpless, making a situation that doesn't necessarily have to be a big deal into a big deal. What I'm learning and trying to practice is acceptance. Okay, it's like this now. Accept it and move forward from here. So when we decided to make lemonade out of this particular lemon, the song came to mind. It's one that Sam and I wrote years ago. This is Make the Best of It. It's a struggle, that's for sure Yeah, it's a giant leap of faith You got a plan and you hold on tight You think you're in control Baby, open up your eyes If you hop that train You might miss the boat
make lemonade Just quit counting yourself out And count your blessings every day unexpected setback, I hope that you can find the shortest route to acceptance and forward motion. Life's too short and time's too precious to stay stuck in the setback. I'm choosing to count my blessings and I hope you will too. Onward! We love y'all and we can't thank you enough for watching. Don't forget to dream big, work hard, and have faith. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> No.